Well, early October has been bad for layoffs and furloughs. Just another blow that COVID-19 has dealt our economy. It's terrible for those losing their jobs. Not great, those, uh, though, for those left behind as well. Joel Patterson is a workplace culture expert, and he's on the KRLD Newsline. So, Joel, when big layoffs happen, can the people that still have a job start feeling survivor's guilt? Yeah, I think that that's the case. Disney just laid off 28,000 people. And you think, wow, that's 28,000 people that have hit the streets, and, and, and you feel for them. But you kind of forget about the rest of the people that are still at the office and the impact that it has on them. You know, it's it's almost like if you've ever lost a pet and all of a sudden it's gone, it might be perfectly happy living with someone else, but that hole, that, that friend that was there is now all of a sudden gone. And when you're at work and you've been living through this pandemic for the last six months, going to battle together and have that bunker mentality that you're going to get through this and do whatever it takes. And then all of a sudden your colleague is gone. It really leaves an empty feeling. And unfortunately for a lot of people, I think that survivor's guilt is a real thing. Companies and individuals really need to take note of it and do something about it. Yeah. So let's talk about what companies can do. First of all, be transparent. You know, make sure that as you as these things are coming up, that you're talking about the changes. Um, you're not just springing this on them. I mean, people need to understand this is a decision that has to be made. This is the, these are the reasons why, and here's how we're going about it. Recognize the people that have taken on new challenges to try to support what's happening. Don't ignore that all the the people that are out there that recognize that they've got to do something to help lift others up and get through this situation. Uh, make sure that you've got some compassion. Obviously, with and when you're planning these kind of layoffs. You've got to do it compassionately because uh, it does impact a lot of people very deeply. And then the biggest thing, I think, if you can if you can really, with your remaining people, try to focus on how they can build new relationships. Don't just ignore the fact that you can also be a leader in this situation and find ways to forge new relationships internally. And I think that will really help your people kind of work their way through this process. What about when your people are taking on more projects and more responsibility because the company has had to downsize? That's been a problem from day one through this. People are working more hours typically than they were before. And a lot of that is because where you're working during the day might be the exact same place that you're sitting and watching a movie with your family in the evenings. And, and you just kind of tend to gravitate back towards doing work or you're thinking about work. or and that. So this is something that you should have been addressing all along. But you really need to recognize who is taking those things on. Make sure that they get the appropriate credit for it. But also make sure that they are taking time for themselves. Because in the long run, there's no way that you're going to be able to maintain that pace. No matter how strong you feel, at some point, this is going to catch up to you and you're going to, you're going to crack. That is workplace culture expert Joel Patterson.